Welcome to my Mysterious Universe channel. As we explore the mysteries of our universe, we often come across ancient artifacts and ruins that challenge our understanding of history. In this video, we delve into the controversial theories surrounding the possible existence of an advanced civilization on Mars and its connection to the lost city of Atlantis. Could the evidence point towards an extraterrestrial origin of humanity? Join me as we uncover the secrets that the scientific elite may be keeping from us and delve deeper into the possibility of ancient alien contact with our ancestors. Get ready to expand your mind and open yourself to the possibilities beyond our world. According to Swiss scientists, they can unquestionably prove that the lost city of Atlantis was located on Mars and its astronauts traded with ancient Egypt for a significant period of time. Even more incredibly, they claim to have evidence that the legendary King Tutankhamun perished in a spaceship crash with an extraterrestrial crew. Either the Martian civilization destroyed itself or was destroyed by a meteorite while Egypt was still flourishing, said Dr. Stephen Weiss at a gathering of journalists and scientists in Bern, Switzerland. But the inhabitants left their mark on both Earth and Mars. Top secret photographs taken by American Martian probes clearly show the remains of temples on the planet's surface. Egyptian pyramids and the ability to mummify the human body are undoubtedly the result of technologies that emerged not on Earth, but somewhere else, in this case on Mars. We believe that the Atlanteans sold these technologies to the Egyptians for gold. Dr. Weiss and his colleague, Egyptologist Conrad Vetch, said that a recently deciphered Egyptian scroll first convinced them that Atlantis was on Mars. The scroll describes a technologically advanced civilization existing beyond our planet, in the vast black ocean of space. It also references space travel and the use of shuttles to transport humanoid aliens from the carrier spacecraft to the surface of Earth. Researchers have long known that the Egyptians were subject to flights because a complex model of what they called a glider was found in Tutankhamun's tomb, Dr. Weiss told the group. In light of the information gleaned from the scrolls, we now see that the glider was actually an exact replica of the spaceship and it was precisely such a spacecraft that crashed with Tut on board. Not all attendees at the conference agreed with the experts' theories. Dr. Seth Roche, a German historian, believes they went too far by calling the Martian civilization Atlantis. I have no doubt that the Egyptians had contact with extraterrestrials, the expert said. But until we actually explore the ruins on Mars, there's no way to know if they are remnants of Atlantis. In my opinion, if Atlantis really existed, it existed here on Earth. Norwegian astronomer Ellen Guide agreed. Atlantis may have been a colony of an extraterrestrial civilization, but it was definitely located on this planet, he said. Why weren't any of these scientists surprised by the temples on Mars? How did these scientists aim to know about the writings that could possibly prove the interaction between ancient Egypt and extraterrestrials? What else do the scientific elite know that we don't? Why do they think that our history and the things that can define who we are don't concern us? Or do they just think that the more secrets they have, the more important they are? The idea that ancient civilizations had contact with extraterrestrial beings is a fascinating and thought-provoking topic. While there is some evidence to suggest that there may have been interaction between ancient Egypt and alien life forms, it is still unclear whether the ruins on Mars are the remains of an extraterrestrial colony or not. If you enjoyed this video and want to discover more intriguing mysteries and theories, make sure to subscribe to the Mystery Universe channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Thank you for watching.